Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Maddie. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I'm going to be sharing a video of what sold this past week with you guys. I definitely noticed a pattern of what was selling in my closet this past week and it was definitely cold weather items. We are now in mid-September and people are starting to think about what am I going to wear as it gets colder. Are you guys noticing that cold weather items are selling in your closet as well? If so, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what were some of your best sales from this week. Let's go ahead and get into the video. The first item that I want to share with you guys is this vintage Macnaw rainbow knit stripe sweater. I got this at the end of March and it just recently sold and that's because I think people are really starting to shop for sweaters. When I originally got this we were coming out of sweater season and now we're going into sweater season and I know nothing about this brand. I could just tell that it was quality. It had that very vintage um, oversized grandpa feel to it so I knew it was something special. I had this price really high at $75 just because I was kind of curious to see how it would do and someone sent me a $45 offer and I absolutely took this. This was a relisted item and it had so much attention. You can see here, this is what the tag looks like. And it says it was made in China and it was just made out of cotton, but that knitted by hand is really important because that shows that it is quality and that it took a lot of craftsmanship craftsmanship. The next item that we're looking at is another sweater. I told you guys sweaters are selling right now. This is a Reformation new with tag black cashmere blend sweater and it says it sold for 80 but it actually sold for 60. Um, this is something that I had multiples of. I got this on retail arbitrage and I have one more left if you're interested in your size large. The funny story about this is I got three of these sweaters in a size extra small and then three of these sweaters in a size large. I anticipated that the size large would sell really quickly and I'd be stuck with the extra smalls. The exact opposite happened. The extra smalls went really, really quickly and only recently have I still sold these two larges and I still have one large left to go and I got this quite a few months ago. Um, Reformation, I definitely think, is starting to die off. I wouldn't say no if it was at the right price point. Like, this sweater was only $20 when I got it at Nordstrom Rack. So, I did have to sit on this, but it didn't end up being a really good return. And I would just say, especially when it's Reformation jeans, that's kind of their lower end stuff. I would just be mindful of what you're willing to pay up for. Going along with these cold weather sales, this was a Lulu's gray ribbed long line button up duster cardigan. I don't often pick up Lulu's, it just doesn't do well for me, but I knew that this longer cardigan style would sell. It only sold for $19, but it had quite a bit of interest. I got this at the end of May, so it did take a few months, but it sold within that 90 day period at least. And it was, like I said, just a ribbed gray cardigan. It had 12 likes on it and it had some watchers on eBay and Mercari as well. The next item that we're going to look at is another vintage chunky geometric grandpa sweater. This one was in a size medium. There wasn't even a brand tag on it, but it did say made in USA whenever I looked at the fabric tag. And I didn't think this one would sell for as much is the Macnaw one because the um, colors are just a little bit more muted. It wasn't as thick and in my opinion it wasn't as quality and it doesn't say knitted by hand but I still knew that it would sell these funky kind of like geometric printed patterns people really seem to enjoy especially um, like hipsters. I don't know if that's still a thing but I know I see a lot of people that wear like mom jeans and then these baggy sweaters in the winter time. So I would definitely still pick them up. I would just be really mindful about the price point that you're buying them at, especially if they are vintage and they are not branded. The next item to sell was something that I sourced on my Houston trip this summer at the uh, middle of July. And this is an Eloquy gray tie sleeve sweater dress in a size 1820. This sold for $28. So again, going towards that warmer weather clothing. This was really cute with the little bow detail on the sleeves. Eloquy is a fantastic plus size brand. I would say in my um, experience, the most like sellable of the plus size brands that I pick up, it would go Torrid, Eloquy, and then City Chic. 
And if you guys did not know, I kind of mentioned this every time I bring up Eloquy. Eloquy is actually owned by Walmart. So that's your little tidbit about Eloquy. The next item is one that I actually paid up for, and it was a Kate Spade hot pink textured long sleeve dress in a size 14. And typically when it comes to Kate Spade bags, clothing, and shoes, I don't pay up for them. And a lot of the times I actually end up sending it to the real real. But I knew that this was going to sell really quickly and for a fantastic amount. Um, because it was in this great hot pink color and also it was a larger size and plus size Kate Spade still has a lot of sellability. So this is in a size 14. This had so many watchers on eBay and quite a few likes on Poshmark as well. And this ended up selling for $45. I believe I had it priced at $65 and I was excited to see it go at $45. I did pay $14 for this, but I got this at the end of August. So it did sell really quickly and I'm not someone that likes to hold on to inventory. So I was very satisfied with this sell. The next item that we're going to be looking at is a kid's piece. I don't sell a lot of kids items, but one brand that I always pick up is Mini Bowden. They just have the cutest little patterns on it, and this sold for $22. I got this at the end of August, so it did sell really quickly. And this was just a really cute summery, like striped floral dress. And some of the Mini Bowden things, especially if it's a rare piece or a rare pattern, can go for a lot more. In fact, I've sold some of their coats for $40. So if you find a coat, especially that's in a novelty print, you're going to make a lot of money. But Mini Bowden, as long as it is at like a, an inexpensive price point, I would definitely pick up. The next item to sell was a Madewell Nua Tag convertible crossbody bag, and it was made of real calf hair. A lot of people don't like picking up Madewell anymore, but in my opinion, the bags still do really well. This is something that I sourced retail arbitrage for about um, $20 and it sold really quickly for 52. I only had this listed for I think 35 days and it did have a good amount of likes. You guys can see here it is a convertible bag so it could be worn like on your wrist or your shoulder or it could be worn cross body. So that was another sellability point. And Madewell, typically they make their bags out of um, genuine leather. So it is a really great material and a really great craftsmanship. So I would definitely still pick up the bags. Looking at eBay now, this is another sweater that sold. This one sold for $21. I had it priced at $30. This is an Anthropology Angel of the North Rosy um, Waffle Knit Tunic in a size small. I did have this since February, but now that it is sweater season, it is starting to sell. The next eBay sale is another anthropology piece. This is a Kinney and Kim. This is the Hansel Green Shift dress, and this sold really quickly for $36. I honestly didn't anticipate it selling for that much or that quickly. Uh, Kinney and Kim is known for their bohemian styles, but it can be really hit or miss. Some of them have like a really high selling point and some of them are just really oversaturated. So I was very satisfied with this sell. I don't honestly know if it was luck though. Looking up comps, it seemed a bit oversaturated in my opinion. So with anything, but especially with anthropology, always look up your comps. And looking at our last eBay sale for this week, this was a Citron floral silk button down blouse in a size small. I do have the matching dress. Um, the thrift store sold them together as a set, but I separated them because they were different sizes. This sold for $50 really quickly. And I hadn't really known anything about this until I saw McThrifty on YouTube pick it up. And this is like, I believe it's made in the USA. It's vintage and the fabric content was great. It was silk. And so I was really excited to try this out. I did end up paying up for this. I believe I paid $16 for the top and the dress. And it has already been profitable just on the blouse alone. I got this at the same time as I got the Kate Spade piece. So definitely a great pickup. You can tell like it's all wrinkly and it's still sold. And there was even a small mark on here which of course i did disclose and still it sold for that 50 dollars mark so that is fantastic thank you guys so much for watching if you like reseller content make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button i'll see you guys next time bye